So with the rise in cyber attacks comes the concern that ransomware could hit more than just big businesses. Local companies, even your family could be the next target and you could shell out a lot of money to keep valuable information safe. Taylor Lazenby is calling for action this morning with ways to protect yourself. Hi Taylor. Hey guys, good morning. Now the ransomware attack is when an online attacker cuts a system completely offline. Then he demands a payment to get that system working again, or they'll expose some of your valuable information. Now the ransomware task force reported back in 2020 that 560 healthcare facilities were hit by those ransomware attacks. Now we asked Jesse LeGru, he is a security architect at Madison College, on how to stop these ransomware attacks before they start. One thing I always recommend to people is know what normal looks like for you. Um, when you use your device, your computer, you do see emails coming into your inbox. Um, understand what the day to day looks like and how that um, changes over time. Uh, one of the best indicators for really any kind of device compromise is when you see something unusual, if you see something that you're not used to, um, hopefully that's a good time to pause and to think about, you know, what's different about this and should I be thinking about it in a different way? Well, Jesse also suggests using different passwords for every site that needs a login, not clicking on those suspicious links, and of course not falling victim to emails designed to fool us. Now, this is just one of the many things that you can use Call for Action for that our volunteers are here to help you. You can help submit a claim and they will get on that. And you can do that by logging on to our website, that's the channel 3000.com and clicking that Call for Action tab. Taylor Lazenby, interesting report this morning. Thank you.